So, from here, we realize that Joseph is being sent by his dad to go and find out the welfare of his brothers. And Joseph was willing to do what the father was asking of him. He is going to try and find out how his brothers are doing. And he's also taking something with him. He is thinking about them. He wants to really help out. So he, he goes as his father has instructed. Verse 40 says that then he said to him, Please go and see if it is well with your brothers and well with their flocks and bring back words to me. He sent him out of the valley of Hebron and he went to Shechem. So his, 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 his intention is to see the welfare of his brothers. Joseph was in to go and look after the welfare. He is thinking positive. He is thinking about the well-being of his brothers. Precious one, in this world, sometimes as you are thinking well of others, they are rather conspiring and thinking ill will about you. Joseph is thinking about the welfare of his brothers. But they are not thinking about his welfare. If anything, they want to see him on welfare. Mm -hmm. They want to see him destroyed. Yeah. They want to see him dis frustrated. Verse 15. Verse 15. Now a certain man found him, and there he was, wandering in the field. And the man asked him, saying, What are you seeking? So even in the seeking, of his brothers thinking about their welfare he begins to what wander around getting lost and not knowing even where they are so because of them he became a wanderer because of them he got lost many times in the wilderness all because he's thinking about his brothers where am i my brothers is it well with my brothers are they safe i hope all is well with them he's thinking he is worried about his brothers. But sometimes, precious one, the people we are worried and concerned about are not concerned about us. The people we are doing everything to please them, they are not pleased with us. The people you are willing to sacrifice your life for, they are not willing to sacrifice an inch for you. They don't care about you. But here we are, worried so much. To the point that sometimes we displease God to please these people who don't care about us. Joseph has obeyed his father. Joseph is seeking for the welfare of his brothers. It has even cost him because he has become what a wanderer in an unknown places until he was found by somebody. Continue. Verse 16. Mm -hmm. Verse 16. So he said, I am seeking my brother i am seeking my brothers i am thinking about my brother i'm thinking about my sister i'm thinking about my friends i'm thinking about this person i want to see that all is well with them i'm thinking about their well-being their success their victories i'm i'm happy when it is well with them i'm here to tell somebody as much as you have a good heart towards others don't think that everybody is like you or everybody is a christian or everybody is a believer who has a good heart. Let's continue. Please tell me where they are feeding their flock. Please tell me where I can find these brothers of mine. I've been lost. I could have returned home and tell my father, you know what, I tried, but I didn't see them. And therefore, I've, I've been wandering around. I even got lost. And my dad, I'm back. You know what? Let them find their way out. But even though he was wandering around, aimlessly and lost still this guy called joseph was still thinking about the welfare of his brothers seeking that i said well with my, my 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 brothers are they okay i want to make sure they are okay so that i can take a good news to my dad continue and the man said they have this they have departed from here for i heard them say let us go to dotan so Joseph went after his brothers and found them 
into so now he comes to a place and the, 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 the a guy a guide tells him that you know what i saw i heard your brothers i saw them around and they said they are going to do town so now if though you've been wandering around lost you have to you have to travel another distance long distance and go all the way to Dotan to go and find them because that's what they have moved on. Joseph could have had every reason to say, you know what? I've done my best. I came in here. I've been wandering around. You guys were not where you are supposed to be. And I've, I've been seeking you. And now I come. When I heard about you too, you've gone to another region. You know what? I'm returning home. And I'll tell my dad that you guys are in Dotan. That's enough. And then you could have returned. But he had a good heart. He wanted to see the welfare of his brothers. He was, he had a good conscience, good motives, clean heart, pure heart towards his brothers. And some of us, we walk in this world naively being nice to everybody, thinking we will also receive the same nice treatment. You have no idea. You have no idea. You have no idea what goes on in some people's mind. Today, I was listening to a comedian who was doing very well, a comedian. And then, sadly, this comedian was hit with sickness, which paralyzed him. He couldn't stand on his feet. One, he's not a Christian. Two, he's not also involved in any spiritual group. You know, some people are not Christians, but they are into secret society. Some people are not Christians, but they are into witchcraft and other cult or other demonic things. But he, he was just, he, he, he didn't believe in God and he didn't believe in anything. He was just living his life. And he was famous. And in the entertainment world, for you to climb higher, people will do everything to bring you down. So somebody went to practice witchcraft on him and released an arrow and it paralyzed him and he was saying that a time came in his life when he was paralyzed in his room he saw a spirit come into that room and the spirit took a knife and pierced his heart and blood was coming out of his heart and there's there was blood on the knife and he screamed but nobody could see the spirit that came into his room. And then later on, somebody told him that this sickness that you are going through, we've been to the hospital. All they are saying is that everything is okay with you, only that you have lost some blood. But they can't find anything wrong with you. So they don't understand why you are so paralyzed. You can't even stand on your feet. You can't even use the restroom. So somebody else told him that, you know what? This is a spiritual problem. So let me recommend one of my spiritualists to you who is into, who dabbles into sorcery and witchcraft and wizardry. And he called the person and went and the person was able to let him know that it is because of this person or that person, that's why you are going through this problem. And the person told him that even though I have seen the root of your problem, that this is the person who has practiced witchcraft against you because of your position and they want you killed so that they, they cut you off. But I am unable to do anything for you. Why? Because spiritually, they have already killed you. Spiritually, they have already what? Finished you. You are dead. You, even though you are alive, spiritually, they have already killed you. You've been already sacrificed. Your soul has already been eaten by the witches. That you're living now is just a matter of time. So the guy said, I can't help you. I can tell you that this is the person killing you. And he also has been seeing that a spirit came into his room to come and pierce his heart and blood was coming out and he screamed. So he also knew that he was dying. But I was surprised that the spiritualist told him that there's nothing I can do because you are already dead. Spiritually, you are already dead. So in the spiritual realms, they can kill you. And yesterday, you'll be walking on this earth for the next six months. You think, but you are a walking dead person. It's just a matter of time. Anybody who push you, a car accident, anything, they are just looking for a reason to give and evidence why you died physically, but spiritually you're already dead. Do you understand that just the day that Queen Elizabeth died, that's the day this guy dropped dead. <laughs> when was Queen Elizabeth died? 
two days ago or yesterday or whatever it is. That was the same day this guy, the, this, the news is all over. He is dead. Before he died, he was being interviewed and was telling us about these things that was going on in his life. That they told him that he's already dead. He, he knows that somebody has already practiced witchcraft on him. Just two days ago, the day Queen Elizabeth died, he also is dead. Whatever he said during the interview has come to pass. Spiritually, he has been killed already. He's been killed already. He's been killed. And I said, this world is wicked. You can't just walk anyhow. Some of you are walking around without any divine protection. You are walking anyhow. You, you are not serving the Lord well. You are not into... Please, you can't... No, this world is now wicked. We are living in a very wicked world. Anybody can take you out for, for every trivial reasons. Somebody can kill you just because of your position. Somebody can take you out just because of your husband or your wife. Somebody can take you out just because of something they are envious or jealous about you. It is so simple. So we have to make sure that if we indeed are believers and Christians, then take your Christianity seriously so that you can have the ultimate protection of Jehovah God on, on your life so that no weapon formed or fashion against you shall prosper. Otherwise, if we live anyhow in any careless life and every every lukewarm life it will be easy for our enemies to get access to us this guy died on the day queen elizabeth died he's gone and they are playing back his own confession how he knew that they have killed him they told him he's dead they told him there's nothing they can do about this his they can't reverse it he's already dead if he had probably run to jesus jesus is the only one who can reverse who, who is the resurrection and the life? Because the, when witches eat up your flesh and your blood in the spiritual coven, without Jesus, they can't reverse it. You are gone. I'm saying this to let you know that please take Christ Jesus seriously and let him be your defender, your protector, and your shield. And also take your Christianity seriously. Shun away from sin because sin is the only way that gives our enemies the legal right and the upper hand against us when we are sinning then when they shoot the arrow they'll, they'll get us when they plot against us they'll get us but when you are living right and you are serving god in truth and in spirit the bible says no weapon formed or fashioned against you shall prosper may the lord become your protection in jesus name Amen. Amen. here is joseph thinking well about his brothers mm -hmm. but what are the, his brothers thinking about him you are smiling and laughing with somebody at your workplace you have no idea what they are thinking about you. You are even dating somebody. You are dating. The people have dated people. But the people who were dating, they thought they were going to marry. The person wanted to just marry them for other ulterior motives. To sacrifice them or to use them to get their citizenship or something and just use you and dump you. You think it's, it's your business partner. You are into business. And they realize that, wow, the business is now flourishing and we are partners. They will go into the dark world and go and finish you, kill you, sacrifice you. Then the business will be given over to them. Nobody knows the contract you sign with them. And your children, nobody else knows. So when you are, you are dead, they take everything. Today, people are very wicked. So I'm telling you, make sure you, you have protection. And let me let, let you know, many people walking around, they have protection from other sources. They do, they do have. Don't think people are just walking around anyhow. Don't think people are walking around anyhow. People got other protection from satanic sources. So if you say you are a Christian, make sure Jehovah God is truly your protector. Amen. And your shield, because that's the highest level of protection yes. that you can find in Christ Jesus. Amen. Continue. Verse 18. Now when they saw him afar off, even before he came near them. When they saw Joseph from afar, somebody coming to see for their well, coming for their well-being. Somebody who, because of them, he's been wandering around in the wilderness aimlessly, lost. Somebody, somebody who, because of them, he's been traveling long distance, searching for them. Yes, and the father definitely didn't ask him to go empty hands. Probably he took food to go and present to them, just as David's father also gave him food to go and give to his brothers in, at the war front. So he went with substance to go and bless them. And to find out about their well-being. He cared about his brothers. I'm telling you, it's not everybody who cares about you just as you care about them. That's why we have to learn to trust God. Love everybody. 
Love everybody unconditionally, but trust God. Love what? Everybody unconditionally. But I'm telling you, you have to do what? Trust God. Trust God. And it is better for you to be afraid of man than to be afraid of a goat. A, a ghost. Did you hear what I said? It is better for you to be afraid of a man than to be afraid of what? A ghost. Some people are afraid of a ghost. A ghost. A ghost. You don't have to be afraid of a ghost, but be afraid of a man who has the power and ability to smile and still stab you and destroy you. Be afraid of a man, not a ghost. A ghost is already dead. A ghost is not living with us. Continue. They conspired against him. They what? They conspired. Oh, he's coming in genuinely. Genuinely, you, 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 you think well about your friend. Genuinely, you tell her about your success. Genuinely, you tell her about your achievement. Genuinely, you tell her about how you passed the exams. Genuinely, you tell her about how you found a, a guy who you are dating, who has promised to marry you. Genuinely. But you don't know that the person you are telling genuinely is conspiring to destroy you. Recently, a young guy, two friends, two friends, one guy told his friend, my father, come and visit us in our house. This guy told his friend to come to his house and visit their house so he can show him to his father. And they were well to do. So this other guy, but he was he was very smart guy in, in his class, very smart. So he told the smart guy, oh, please come to my house and come and look at my house. And I'll also introduce you to my father. And because the smart guy also is poor and doesn't have much, he was even happy that this rich guy, this rich boy, is telling me to come to his house and introduce me to his dad. I love to go and at least go and see how they are living. And I'll be privileged to see rich people's house. Unknown to this smart, intelligent boy, this guy, this boy, had conspired with his father. Father, there's this guy who is so brilliant in my class. I want you to do something. The father, too, who, is in, who is into occult, said, bring him, bring him home. So he bring him home. They entertain him. They give him food, drinks, and stuff. During the time of eating, and this innocent, brilliant boy came in to visit them, they switched his glory. Before he left, they had stripped him of his glory. His glory. They've stripped it and trans the guy, the, the guy, the guy's father who is into awkward transferred the, this boy's glory into his son. And this boy went back. He's smart, but he started do not doing well and he couldn't achieve anything. This boy, rather, is now making it. It was only of recent time that they are telling him that your star, your glory was lost when you visited your friend's house many years ago. That's when he and his father switched your glory. You've lost your glory to your friend. That's why everything you see your friend manifesting and enjoying now, it should have been you. Right now he's in Canada. You should have been in Canada. Somewhere you are struggling. You don't even have a job. You don't know what to do about your life. How did they do this? Simple. Come and visit us. They just entertained him, gave him food, and he, he ah, thank you for maybe gave him money, not knowing that they've switched. Switched. Be very careful. I said, love everybody unconditionally, but do what? Trust only God. Trust in God. They conspired against him to kill him. Mm -hmm. They and what? Conspired. They, conspired against they what? Him conspired. Against him to kill him. What has Joseph done to you? What has Joseph done to you? A person thinking about you. A person coming, sacrificing, walking miles, looking for you to help you. And what are they planning in return? To kill him. So I wonder why you keep on saying, uh, what did I do? What did I do for people to be attacking me? What did I do for the witches to be on my case? What did I do for me to be experiencing this level of attack? You don't have to do anything. Your existence is a nuisance. Your existence is what? A nuisance. And that is enough for them to want to take you out. What did Joseph do? Just because of his coat of many colors. Why? Because his father had given him a coat of many colors because he was his father's favorite. Just because he was a dreamer. He had a dream and his dream was intimidating his brothers. Why? Because it was representing what God wanted to do in their life. Somebody is envious and jealous about your dream, about your position, about where God is taking you. So please be very careful. Be very careful with people. Be very careful. Continue. Then they said to one another, 
look this dreamer is coming no this dreamer this dreamer is coming this woman who is dreaming to get married she will marry and we shall see this dreamer who want to get a start her own business she will start a business and we shall see this dreamer is coming who says that her daughter is going to make it let's see how this daughter will become this or that you are going to call it we will see whether you finish you want to start a business we'll see whether how it will flourish you want to go into ministry we'll see how that ministry will make it you want to marry we'll see how long you will last in that marriage Please be very careful. But unfortunately, we are living in a naive, ignorant generation whereby everybody thinks everything is just ordinary. Please don't be fooled. You'll be wasted without your knowledge. Don't think everybody smiling at you is thinking having your welfare in heart. Continue. Come therefore and let us now kill him. Come and let and what? Cast him into some pit come and let us kill him somebody want to kill us somebody want to destroy you and cast you deep into the pit so that your dreams and your visions and some of us will not shut up will not keep up we keep on wanting we keep on advertising our dreams to people people who hate you but they are pretending they like you people who dislike you and they are pretending they like you people who want you dead and they are pretending they smile at you and you want to entertain them around them they will finish you one day they will kill you spiritually or physically and take you out be very careful in the name of Jesus. May you learn this wisdom. Amen. And we shall say, some wild beast has devoured him. Some wild beast have what? Devoured, devoured him. him. So this time, we, we don't need a wild beast. We are the beast. We are the beast. Have what? We are the ones who are going to what? devour him. We are the ones who are going to devour him. We are going to consume him. We are going to destroy him. Then we are going to tell our father that a wild beast. Some of us, the wild beast is not a witchcraft somewhere. It's somebody closest to you. Somebody closest to you is that wild beast. Somebody around you is a wild beast. Seek him. That's why the Bible says that the devil roars like a lion, seeking for whom he may devour. The devil is roaring like a lion, seeking for whom he may devour. A wild beast is around us. Some of them are snakes. Some of them are foxes. Some of them are lions. Some of them are tigers. Some of them are hyenas. Some of them are owls. Spiritually. And yes, so physically we see them as ordinary human beings. But they have different spirits. And this spirit, if you let, if you don't stay guard in prayer, Jesus says men ought to always ought to pray and not faint. If you are not watchful and prayerful, this wild beast will consume you. Oh God, deliver us from this wild beast. Now the wild beasts are no more the wild animals. They are the wild people around you. And they are very pretentious. They are very what? Pretentious. They are very pretentious. They are smiling with you. They are even pretending they are praying with you. They are pretending they are your Christian brothers and sisters. They are, they, are, they are making you have confidence in them. Telling them your secrets. But yes, still, they are fighting you. May the Lord begin to be revealed. Open your spiritual eyes for you to know every unidentified wild beast. Any unidentified wild beast. Anybody who is around you who is a wild beast who is fighting your star, fighting your glory, fighting your success, fighting your victory, fighting your health, fighting you. May God open your eyes of understanding for you to be able to identify these unidentified wild beasts that are monitoring us, faking, pretentious, but they are the ones destroying us. All your problem, they know everything about it. But they are very close to you. And many times, if God doesn't help you, they are the last people to suspect. May God deliver us. See, Heavenly Father, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus deliver, me, deliver me. Deliver me. Deliver me from every wild beast. From every wild any beast, human representative. Any human representative who represents who represent a, wild a wild beast in my life. In my life. Lord, Jesus, Lord Jesus, expose them. Expose them. Expose them. Expose them. Expose them. Expose them. Disarm them. Disgrace them. Dispose of them for me. Dispose of them, dispose, dispose of, of them, them from me. in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Come, let us kill him. Cast him into the pit. Come, let us kill him. Cast him into the pit. Come, let us kill him. Cast him into the pit. Come, let us kill him. And cast him into the pit. They want to cast your destiny down. They want to cast your marriage down. They want to cast your health down. They want to put you in the pit and bury you. 
prosper. It shall not stand. Amen. It shall not prosper. Amen. It shall not stand. Amen. It shall not prosper. Amen. It shall not stand. Amen. It shall not prosper. Amen. They want to bury your glory. They want, they want to, to bury your star. They want to bury your, pro your, your destiny. They want to frustrate God's purpose for your life. But they shall not succeed. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Let us kill him. Cast him into the pit. Let us kill him and cast him into the pit. Tonight, I just want us to pray this prayer. Tomorrow we will continue. Tomorrow we will continue. It is too deep. I don't want to exhaust all the revelation today. We are going to pray. We are going to pray. Every wild beast. You see, let us kill him and then we will go to our father and tell our father that a wild beast, because it is only wild beasts that do this kind of evil, but we are the wild beast. Who is the wild beast around you? Who do you call friend, best friend, friend relative? Who is around you? But it's a wild beast. Jesus Christ referred to Herod as go and tell that fox. Jesus told Herod that go, he referred to Herod as what? Go and tell that fox because he knew spiritually that guy was what? A fox. Jesus Christ told and John the Baptist said to the Pharisees, you brood of vipers, vipers, you are serpent, you are snakes. You call yourself Pharisees, but you are spiritually a snake in to steal, to kill and to destroy. Please don't think that the people you see are all human beings. People have different spirits, animalistic, demonic spirits. And that is what causes them to do mischief and do distraction. May the Lord bring deliverance. Amen. From every wild beast. Amen. Today we are not talking about the wild beast in the forest. I'm talking about the wild beast with two feet. Two legs. Walking on two legs. Smiling. Wearing suit. Wearing dresses. Wearing makeups. Wearing wigs. Wearing being smiling with you. Pretending that they're on your side. But they are wild beast. They are behind all your problems. They know exactly what is going on. They are frustrating God's purpose for your life. May the Lord Jesus tonight fight for you. You are going to fight, pray your first prayer point. Oh Lord, any unidentified wild beast in my life, any unidentified, any unidentified, any unidentified wild beast, person, person, I'm talking about persons. I'm not talking about demons. And I'm talking about certain agents planted right around you, right before your nose, right before your nose, that co-worker, right before your nose, their neighbor, right before your nose, they call you friend, right before you know that family member, right before your nose. But they are pretending. But they are the wild beast. They know every problem you are going through. And they, they are the ones who are orchestrating it, composing it to destroy you. Father, on every unidentified wild beast in my life, Lord, expose them by your Holy Ghost fire. Lord, expose them by your Holy Ghost fire. Lift up this prayer that, Father, every wild beast personality, any persons in my life who represent a wild beast, who is in to destroy my life, expose them. Whether I am dating the person, whether they come in as friend, best friend, as a relative, family member, brother, sister, whatever it is. Father, whoever, a co-worker, a neighbor, a roommate, whoever is around me who is a wild beast, the devil has employed and planted around me to sabotage. Oh, Joseph is going in to do good to his brother brothers but they are planning to kill him they are planning to ex execute him they are planning to assassinate him they are planning to f to terminate his life please may god deliver you from every wild beast who is in to steal to kill and to destroy you and to devour you oh lord every unidentified wild beast in my life let them be exposed by your fire let them be exposed by your fire lift up your voice and pray in the mighty name of jesus father in the mighty name of jesus Whoever is in our lives who represent a wild beast, Lord, let them be exposed. Let them be exposed. Let them be exposed. We command the Holy Ghost fire. Let the Holy Ghost fire. Let the Holy Ghost fire. Let the Holy Ghost fire. Expose every unidentified wild beast. Let the Holy Ghost fire. Let the Holy Ghost fire. Let the Holy Ghost fire. Expose. Expose. Expose right now. 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 Right now. Every wild beast. Every wild beast. Every wild beast. Every wild beast. Every human agent, every demonic agent, every household witchcraft agent that are behind my problem, that are behind my delay, that are behind my sickness, that are behind my divorce, that are behind my sickness, my disease, my failure, my stagnation, retrogression, that are causing me to be in bondage. Father, let them be exposed. Let them be exposed. Let them be exposed by the Holy Ghost fire. Let them be exposed 
by your Holy Ghost fire. Let them be exposed by your Holy Ghost fire. Every wild beast, every wild beast, every agent, every unfriendly friend, every unfriendly friend, whoever is pretending to be a family member, but they are into witchcraft, they are into court, they are into secret society, they are practicing witchcraft, they are doing enchantment, incantation against me. Lord, expose them, expose them, expose them, expose them, expose them all, expose them all. Household witches in my mother's house, household witches and wizards in my father's house, any unfriendly friend, whoever is pretending to be on my side, but is stabbing me at my back. Lord, expose, expose, expose them. Pray, 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 pray that the Lord will expose. Pray that the Lord will expose every wild beast, anyone who is in your life, who is frustrating God's purpose for your life, who is pretending by destroying you spiritually. May the Lord expose them by His Holy Ghost fire. May the Lord expose them. May the Lord expose them. Every wild beast, every wild agent of darkness, be exposed, be exposed, be exposed. <laughs> Every one beast around my life, around some of us, around Sarah's life, around Esther's life, around French Prime Ministry, around the members, Father, expose, expose them by fire, expose them by thunder, 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 expose every, every wild beast, every agent, any evil person, every evil eye, every monetary person, every monetary agent, expose them by the Holy Ghost fire, expose them, whoever is behind your sickness, whoever is behind your son, your son's suffering, whoever is behind your marital divorce, whoever is behind the confusion in your marriage, whoever is help is causing you never to be able to get a job or keep a job, whoever is attacking you spiritually in your dreams, may the Lord begin to expose them, whoever pretends but is spiritually attacking you through a cat, through a dog, through a serpent, through a snake, through a viper who is attacking you, through a tiger, an owl, a rat, a mice, a millipede, a centipede, a roaches, whoever is fighting your life, attacking you spiritually, may the Lord expose them by the Holy Ghost fire. May the Lord expose them. Every unidentified agent of darkness who is bewitching us secretly, who is will be bewitching us in the dark, Lord expose them. Shine your light against them. Shine your light against them. Let them be exposed. Let their wicked ways be exposed. Let their plots be exposed. Let their devices be exposed. Let their evil agenda and enterprise against us be exposed. Lord expose them. Mantala bada 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 ba. Reba bada 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 ba. Reba ba suka bada ba shanda la ba. Reba ba 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 ba. Reba ba 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 ba. Reba ba ba ba. Reba ba 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 suka bada ba ba. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Expose them, O Lord. Expose them, O Lord. In the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Now we are going to pray. Whoever represent or whatever represent that wild beast in your life that's in to destroy you. We are going to pray, Lord, disarm them. Lord, disarm them. Lord, disarm them. The first one is expose them. Now the Lord should disarm them, meaning, Lord, strip them of their powers. Strip them of their powers and their authority. Their power to do me harm. Their powers to destroy me. Whatever power they are using, whether it's spells, whether it's charm, whether it's sorcery, whether it's whether it's occultic power, whether it's a marine power, whether it's witchcraft power, whether it's a demonic power, Father, disarm them. Disarm them. Take away their armory. Take away their weapons of warfare against me. Some of them are using the weapon of sickness. They are using the weapon of delay, the weapon of stagnation, the weapon of barrenness, the weapon of stagnation, the, we the, the weapon of demonic attacks. Father, disarm them. Lord, whoever is an agent of darkness in my life, 
a wild beast in my life. Lord, disarm them. Make them toothless, toothless, so that they cannot devour me or destroy me. Lord, disarm my enemies. Lord, disarm my enemies. Those at my workplace, Lord, disarm them. Those who appear in my dreams, Lord, disarm them. Those in my family, Lord, disarm them. Those in my neighborhood, Lord, disarm them. Disarm them, oh God. Disarm them, oh God. Strip them of their powers. Render their powers useless and void. Render their powers useless and void. Strip them of their powers and their authority. Let them become powerless. Let them become useless. Let them become impotent. In the name of Jesus Christ, begin to pray. Lord, disarm my enemies. Disarm them. In the name of Jesus, begin to pray that the Lord will disarm them. Lord is Sam, Lord is Sam, Lord is Sam, Lord is Sam. Every power, every spirit, every witch, every wizard, every agent, every altar against my life, for my mother's Sam, for my father's Sam. Lord is Sam them, they Sam them, they Sam them, they Sam them, they Sam them. Strip them of their powers, render their powers useless and form. Strip them of their powers, strip them of their authority, render their powers useless and form. Render their powers useless and form. Render them powerless, render them powerless. I render them powers, I render them powers. Altars in my mother's house. I render you powers. Others in my father's house. I render you powers. Others against my marriage, against my ministry, against my calling, against my health. I render you powerless. Every witch, every wizard, every agent of darkness. I render you powerless. In the name of Jesus, we render them powerless. In the mighty name of Jesus. They sound them, O God. They sound them, O God. Strip them of their powers. Let them become powerless. Let them become powerless. Let them become powers. Let my enemies become powerless. Let them be rendered useless. Let them become more functioning. Let their powers become more functioning. Let their powers become more functioning. More functioning. Non functional. More functioning. Non functional. More functioning. Non functional. More functioning. Let their powers become more functioning. Let their powers become impotent. Let their powers become impotent. Let their powers become impotent. Rabas koto laba kata. Repanto lebi kata laba. Rebaba baba baba. We incapacitate them. We incapacitate them. We incapacitate them. We render them powerless. We incapacitate them. We render them powerless. We incapacitate them. Let them become toothless. Let them become toothless. Let them become powerless. In the name of Jesus, let them become powerless. Let their witchcraft become powerless. Let their powers become powerless. Let their witchcraft become powerless. Let their altars become powerless. Let their sorcery become powerless. Let their charm become powerless. Let their curses become powerless. We render their powers useless and void. We render their powers useless and void. We nullify their powers in the mighty name of Jesus. We render, we render their powers useless and void by the blood of Jesus. Rabbas Katanawa. Every weapons that they have, we strip them of their power. We strip them of their weapons. We strip them of their weapons. We strip them of their powers. We strip them of their weapons. We strip them of their powers in the name of Jesus. Jesus. In the name of Jesus, Father, disarm our enemies, disarm our enemies who represent beasts, uh, fighting our marriages, fighting our health, uh, fighting our children, fighting our staff, fighting our glory. Strip them powers, strip them of their powers, render them powerless. In the name of Jesus, render them powerless, useless and void, uh, impotent. Let them become impotent, let them become impotent, more function, more function, more functional, more function. Let their powers more function. We deactivate their powers, we deactivate their powers, we deactivate their powers, we deactivate their powers. We deactivate their powers. In the mighty name of Jesus, we destroy their spells, we destroy their charm, we destroy their voodoo, we destroy their witchcraft, we destroy their spells, we destroy their sorcery, we render their powers, their witchcraft powerless. In the name of Jesus, it will not ever prosper again. It will prosper never more anymore. It will not prosper. It shall not stand. It shall not prosper anymore in our lives. It shall not prosper anymore in our finances. It shall not prosper in our, anymore in our children's life, in our finances, in our health, in our education, in our businesses. Whatever else powers they are using against us, we render it useless and void. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, somebody you are listening to me, they have released their powers against you. But as you hear the sound of my voice, God is rendering their witchcraft powerless, their sorcery powerless, their enchantment powerless, their curses powerless, their, their evil arrows are being rendered powerless. Anything that they have shot into your body that is fighting you, we render it powerless in the name of Jesus. We render it powerless in the name of Jesus. We destroy it. We nullify it in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, expose Lord, this arm. Now we are going to pray that the Lord will start disgracing them. Lord, disgrace them. Whoever has become a beast and has been working against me, fighting against me, making me making my life miserable, frustrating the hell out of my life, causing me to go in wandering around, looking for my downfall, looking to destroy my life. Whoever is behind the confusion in my marriage, whoever is behind me not getting a job, always constantly failing, whoever has done 
damages to my glory, my star and destiny. Whoever has stolen my glory, stolen my star, stolen my riches, whoever is attacking my son, whoever is attacking my daughter, whoever is attacking any agent of darkness, any unclean spirit, any evil personalities, any beast in my life, Father, disgrace them right now. Lord, disgrace them right now. Whoever has stolen my glory, my son's glory, my, daughter, my daughter's glory, my marital glory, my health glory, Father God, in the name of Jesus, as I begin to pray, Father, let them be disgraced. Let them be disgraced. Let them be disgraced. Let them be disgraced. Let them be humiliated. Let them be disgraced. Lord, expose them and disgrace them. 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 Let them go mad in their wickedness. In the name of Jesus, Father, begin to shame them publicly. Let them express public embarrassment because they have fought your anointed. They have fought my life. Lord, disgrace them. Lord, disgrace them. Begin to pray that the Lord will disgrace any beast that is fighting you, fighting your marriage, fighting your health, fighting your son, fighting your daughter, fighting your health, fighting your destiny, fighting your business fighting your, your progress, fighting your dreams. Whoever is fighting you to wish you dead, may the Lord disgrace them. May the Lord disgrace them in the name of Jesus. Begin to lift up prayers and God will hear your prayer. Lord is grace. Lord is grace. There's grace every witch behind someone. You will grace every witch behind Sonia. Behind every witch behind Sarah. Lord is grace them. 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 Lord expose them. Lord is grace them. Lord expose them. Lord is grace them. Lord expose them. Lord is grace them. Yes, I'm them. This grace them. This grace them. This grace them. I release confusion. I release this grace upon them. Let them be confused and confounded. Let them be confused and confounded. Let them be confused and confounded. Let them be confounded. Let them be confused. Let them be ashamed. Let them be ashamed. Let them be ashamed. Lord disgrace them. Let them be confounded. Let them be put to shame. Let them be a disgrace. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I want you to take that prayer point one more time. Because the Bible says in Psalm 35, let those be put to shame. Verse 1 says, Psalm 35, Plead my cause, O Lord, with those who strive with me. Fight against those who fight against me. Take hold of your shield and your buckler and stand up for my help. And also draw out your spear and stop those who pursue me. Say to my soul, I am your salvation. Let them be put to shame and brought to dishonor. Let them be brought to shame and be brought to this honor. Let them be brought to shame. Some of them have to be put to shame. They wish to, to destroy you. May God put them to shame. May God publicly shame them. Let them be exposed. Let them become naked for people to realize who they really are. Because some of them disguise themselves in, in a pretentious way for let people think that they are good people. Physically, they pretend and deceive the masses to make the masses believe that they are the good people and they are good persons. But spiritually, they are the ones also making your life miserable and devastating you. May the Lord begin to expose their true original colors. May the Lord begin to expose and put them to shame so that everybody will know who they truly are, both physically and spiritually, and the evil they do in darkness, in, 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 hide, in, in hidden places. Lord, disgrace them. Let them be put to shame. Let them be confounded. Lord, disgrace them. Whoever comes in my dream and comes in in the form of a snake, a lion, a tiger, a cat, a mouse, with any mask to come and attack me, whoever is has married me spiritually and come to have sex with me or feed me in my dreams, whoever has been coming in to attack me in my health, Father God, whoever it is, Lord, disgrace them. Let them be put to shame. Disgrace them. Let them be confounded. Expose them and disgrace them. Lord, expose them and disgrace them. Let them be disgraced. Whoever is fighting me at my workplace and causing me not to be able to get a promotion and the raise I need, Lord, expose them. Whoever is behind the scenes, causing confusion and misunderstanding in my marriage. Lord, expose them. Whoever is attacking my son, my daughter with this sickness, Lord, expose them. Whoever is attacking me so I die prematurely, Father, expose them. Lord, expose them and let them be put to shame. Let them be put to shame. Let them disgrace. Let them be put to shame. Let them be disgrace. A time has come. God must put our enemies to shame and disgrace them. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. Let them be put to shame. Let them be disgraced. 
Mantala bara 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 bara. Mantala bara 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 bara. Lord, disgrace them. 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 Every powers in my mother's house. Every household which is in my mother's house. Let them disgrace. Household which is in my mother's house. Let them disgrace. As in the mother's house. As in the mother's house. Let them disgrace. Any power against my son, 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 Every power against my life. I'm against my ministry. Let my enemies be disgraced. Let my enemies be disgraced. Let my enemies be disgraced. Every enemies of Fresh Fire Ministry. Every enemies of Fresh members of Fresh Fire Ministry. Father, we release this grace. Let them be confounded. Let them be put to shame. Let them be confounded. Let them be put to shame. Let them be confounded. Let them be put to shame. Lord, disgrace my enemies in the name of Jesus. Disgrace them, Lord. Disgrace them, Lord. Disgrace them, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. Disgrace them. Let them be confounded. Let them be put to shame. Let them be confounded. Let them be put to shame. Let them be confounded. Let them be put to shame. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Finally, we are going to pray a prayer. We are going to pray, Father, dispose of them. Some of them needs to be disposed. God has to get rid of them. Otherwise, you will never see the light of day. The Bible says that there were more than 40 people who resolved. We will never fast. We will never eat or drink until Paul dies. They resolved. They resolved. They resolved that they will neither eat nor drink until Paul dies. They were resolute, meaning that over their dead body. Some people have said over their dead body that you will live to see next year. Over their dead body, that you will enjoy peace in your marriage. Over their dead body, that your son will finish college, your daughter, your daughter will finish college. Over their dead body, that you will become pregnant and be able to deliver safely. Over their dead body. The Bible says that there were more than what 40 people. Can you look for that scripture for me? More than 40 people who resolved that they will never eat or drink somebody is fasting just to make sure you never succeed and that's why those of you who are lazy you are doing yourself great disservice because there are people who are very more serious they are serious to get making sure that you don't succeed they are serious in making sure that they destroy you they are even fasting to make sure that they destroy you so you also have to rise, rise up and ask the lord to fight you lord whoever has resolved that over their dead body that i'll fulfill my purpose and fulfill my destiny. Lord, dispose of them. Dispose of them. Lord, dispose of them. Get rid of them for my life. Dispose of them. Whoever is that Haman, whoever is that Pharaoh. Pharaoh says that I will not let, I will not let the people of Israel go. I will not let you go. God says, let my people go. Pharaoh says, I will not let you go. But God says, let my people go. I'll, he's plaguing him. Pharaoh says, he's adamant. He's resistant. He's stubborn. Recalcitrant. I will not let Israel go. There are people who are stubbornly Resolve that they will never make you fulfill your dreams and vision. They are willing to die, but you will never see your visions and dreams. Even Joseph, his brother, says that we will make sure he dies. So you have to pray that the Lord should dispose of them. The Lord should dispose of them. The Lord should get rid of them so that you can fulfill your dreams. Otherwise, they will stop you. You are going to pray. Father, whoever is that beast in my life who says over their dead body that I will fulfill your purpose and I have, I have resolved that they will do everything, even if they are to kill me or to die. But they will stop me, Lord God Almighty, in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, dispose of them. Lord, dispose of them. Lord, dispose of them. In the name of Jesus, begin to pray. Father, whoever is a beast in my life, who is a strong man, who has the spirit of Pharaoh, who has the spirit of Haman, who has the spirit of Jezebel, who has the spirit of Goliath, who has the spirit of Atalia, Father, dispose of them. These are stubborn enemies stubborn pursuers they will stop at nothing until they totally kill you or destroy you god must deal with them god must deal with them do you have you found it god must deal. father expose them and dispose of them father dispose them father dispose of them get rid of them get rid of them begin to pray father every stubborn witch every stubborn wizard every stubborn enemy father dispose of them in the mighty name of jesus christ begin to lift up prayers that the lord will dispose of them in jesus name Repent, Talabes, Repent, Palabes, Repent, Palabes, Lord dispose, 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 L
Lord dispose of them. Lord dispose of them. Lord dispose of them. Lord dispose of them. In the name of Jesus, dispose of them. Dispose, dispose. Let them be disposed. Let them be disposed. Let them be disposed. Rabba ba ba ba. Rabba ba ba ba. Let them be disposed. Father, dispose any witch, any wizard, any strong man, any strong woman, any agent of darkness who has resolved that over their dead body, I will not fulfill my dreams, I will not fulfill my destiny, who are holding on to my glory. They are holding on to my star. They are holding on to my glory. They are holding on to my star. They said they will not release my glory so that I will fulfill destiny. They said they will not release my star so I will fulfill my destiny. They have bound me. They have tied me up. They are hitting my glory. Father, oh Lord, dispose of them. Lord, dispose of them. Lord, dispose of them. Lord, dispose of them. Let them perish. Let dispose of them. Let them be destroyed. Dispose of them. Let them expire. Dispose of them. Lord, terminate their lives in the name of Jesus. Cut them off, Lord. Cut them off, Lord. Cut them off, Lord. Cut them off, Lord. Any serpent, any beast, any lion, any cat, any dog spirit, any foul spirit that is fighting me. Lord, dispose of them in the name of Jesus. Let them perish. Let them die. Let them perish. Dispose. Dispose. Dispose them. Dispose of them in the name of Jesus. Now, Acts chapter 23. Acts chapter 23. Verse 12. Verse 12. And when it was day, and when it was day, some of the Jews banded together. Some of the Jewish, they were human beings, but they were having beast spirit. Beast. Please don't be fooled by people smiling and people coming on your page, people saying like and people smiling. Not all of them are humans. Some of them carry beast, beast spirit. Monitoring you. If you are careless, they will take you out. The beast in them. Be very sensitive and discerning. Continue. And bound themselves under an oath, saying that they will neither eat, they will neither eat, nor drink, nor drink, till they had killed four. They have killed four, and how many were they? They were now there were more than forty, 40. who had formed this conspiracy. Father, everyone who has formed a conspiracy, all the networks of conspiracies, witches, wizards, demons, agents of darkness, those in my mother's house, those in my father's house, those operating in my community, my neighborhood, those who are operating at my workplace and through my friends, Father God, dispose of them all. Dispose of them all. Dispose of them all. Those who have bound themselves to make sure they frustrate my life, they monitor my life to destroy everything that you want to do in my life. Lord, dispose of them. Lord, dispose of them. Dispose of them and dispose of their conspiracy. Dispose of them and dispose of them. Please, you Better pray this prayer and get your deliverance in the name of Jesus. Dispose them, Lord. Dispose them, them. Dispose of them. Lord dispose them, Lord dispose them, Lord dispose of them, Lord dispose of them, every witch, every wizard, every strong man, every strong woman, every demonic entity, every altar, in my mother's house, in my father's house, fighting my life, fighting my ministry, fighting my health, fighting for some of me, his memory is that is Lord dispose of them. Let them perish. Let them die. 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 I terminate every cast. Every cast spirit. I command you to die. Every serpentine spirit. Fighting my staff. Fighting my ministry. Fighting my destiny. I command that snake spirit to die. I command that frost spirit to die. I command that dog spirit to fight. Die. Every power that's risen upon place ready in an eater. Who pray to witchcraft and kiss Let that spirit be exposed. Disposed. Be disposed. I dispose that spirit. That spirit to marriage. That spirit to In the name of Jesus, disposing every power against. Reverend Paul, Father God, I dispose, I dispose, I dispose of that spirit against his health, against his life. In the name of Jesus, Leba Parababa, Reba Badaba, every power against Sonia, against Samuel, against Sarah, against Esther, against my life, against every member of Fresh Family. We dispose of them, we dispose of them, we dispose of them. In the name of Jesus, I command the Holy Ghost fire, the whole the power of God to dispose of any witch, any wizard, every strong man, every strong woman, every altar that is fighting your life. Let them be disposed, let them be disposed, let them perish, let them fall. Let them perish, let them fall. Let them perish, let them fall. Just as 
Pharaoh fell, fell and was destroyed. Just as Jezebel fell and was destroyed. Just as Haman fell and was destroyed. Just as Atalia was fell, fell and was destroyed. Just as Goliath fell and was destroyed. Let your enemies perish in the name of Jesus. Perish in the name of Jesus. Let every Goliath, every beast, let every Jezebel in your life, every Pharaoh, every Herod in your life, every Haman in your life, every Jezebel, every Atalia, every Goliath in your life, let them perish in the name of Jesus. Let them perish in the name of Jesus so that you can break through in the name of Jesus. Rabasata, Rebasata, 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 Let them perish, let them fall, let them perish, let them fall. In Jesus' name. We are going to pray your final prayer. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. Restore me. Restore, me. Restore, my restore my glory. Restore my destiny. Restore my, destiny. Restore my star. Restore, restore, restore my marriage. Restore, restore my finances. Restore my, restore my, restore my children. Restore, restore my, my future. Restore. restore my health. Restore every blessing you give me that the devil took. Lord, restore me. Restore me. Restore. Begin to pray for restoration. Restore. 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 Restoration by fire. Restoration by fire. Restoration by fire. You are recover. Recover all. Recover your blessing. Recover your marriage. Recover your finances. Recover your health. Recover your business. Recover your breakthrough. Recover. Recover your soul. Recover your health. Recover your destiny. Recover your visions and dreams. Recover your aspiration. Recover your sons and daughters. Recover. 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 In the name of Jesus, I recover all. I recover all. Total restoration. Total recovery. Total restoration. Total recovery. Total restoration. Total recovery. Total restoration. Total recovery. In the name of Jesus, we pray for restoration. Recovery. In the name of Jesus, restoration. Recovery. In the name of Jesus, restoration. Recovery. In the name of Jesus, restoration. Restoration by fire. Restoration by fire. Restore. 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 Be restored. Let your job receive restoration. Restoration of marriage. Restoration of marriage. Restoration of marriage. Restoration of finances. Restoration of financing. Restoration of health. Restoration of health. Restoration of education. Restoration of education. Let your sons and daughters be restored. Your sons and daughters. Sons and daughters. Rabba ba ba ba. Let your marriage, the peace in your marriage be restored. Joy be restored. Joy be restored. Peace be restored. Sun might be restored. Everything that the devil stole from you. Be restored, be restored, be restored. Recover all. Recover your business. Recover your glory. Recover your joy. Recover longevity. Recover. You cover the blessing, the favor of God, the goodness of God. Rabba sata, reba sata, rabba skoto, reba shande, reba skapa, rabba sheke boka paya, masuka breka teka rabba sata. Whatever the devil stole from us, in the name of Jesus, during this fasting and prayer, we command total restoration. Restore, 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 restore. Receive your health. Receive your health. Receive your health. Receive your health. In the name of Jesus. Everyone hearing the sound of my voice who is under demonic attack, who is under witchcraft attack, attack be restored in the name of Jesus. I banish that demon out of you. I banish that witchcraft out of you. In the name of Jesus Christ, I break the power of witchcraft. 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 I break every curse on your life in the name of Jesus Christ. And I command your total restoration. I command your total restoration. I command your total deliverance in the name of Jesus. Your total healing in the name of Jesus. Your total recovery in the name of Jesus. Jesus, whatever attack you are under right now by the sound of my voice in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I break the power of witchcraft. 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 I cast out every demonic spirit. Be restored in Jesus' name. Let your health be restored. Let your marriage be restored. Let your finances be restored. Let your health be restored. Let your son be restored. Let your daughter be restored. Let your business be restored. Let your destiny be restored. Let your soul be restored from the powers of darkness in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, receive healing, receive deliverance, receive the blessing of God in Jesus' name. Amen. amen. Lift up your voice and begin to thank God. God has done it. Say, Lord, I thank you. I thank you for answering my prayer. Thank you, Jesus. 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 
Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Father. We bless your name. Thank you for an answered prayer. Thank you, O Lord, for restoration by fire. Thank you, Lord. Glory and honor and praise and adoration belong to you. Thank you, Lord, for touching somebody. Thank you, Lord, for healing somebody. Thank you, Lord, for bringing peace into somebody's marriage. Thank you for reversing divorce and separation. Thank you, Lord, for giving somebody a breakthrough. Somebody, whatever they stole from you, you are recovering in the name of Jesus. Thank you for touching somebody's son's life, healing them of autism, healing them of any sickness, every disease. Thank you, Lord, for delivering somebody from witchcraft and demonic attacks. Thank you, Lord Almighty, for causing their soul to escape from demonic oppression. Thank you, Lord, for liberty. Thank you for liberty. There's liberty right now on the line. There's liberty. There's liberty. There's liberty. There's liberty. The yoke of oppression is breaking. 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 The curse of the enemy over your life is breaking. It's breaking right now. In the mighty name of Jesus. It's breaking right now. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the breaking right now. In the mighty name of Jesus. It's breaking right now. In the name of Jesus. I break the yoke of spells. I break the yoke of charm. I break the yoke of every covenant that is fighting and working against you. It breaks now. Every sickness that has hold you in bondage. I break it off your life right now in the name of Jesus Christ. I break the yoke of delay. I break the yoke of barrenness. I break the yoke of stagnation. I break the yoke of stagnancy. I break the yoke of unemployment. I break the yoke of barrenness. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command your release now. I command your deliverance now from every demonic attack. In the mighty name of Jesus, receive your liberty. Receive your freedom. Receive your breakthrough in Jesus' name. Restoration. 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 In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. And amen. We thank God. We bless him. We give him all the praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the living God. Amen. Amen. Please um, get a book, Consuming Fire for Fire. And you get these prayers we prayed. You will get it in chapter 8. Chapter 8 in the book, Consuming Fire for Fire. Chapter 8. Chapter 8. That is page 55. Chapter 8, page 55. Those of you who have the consuming fire for fire, you can pray these prayers we just did. You can get more of the prayers from that and uh, the book Consuming Fire for Fire. Chapter go to chapter 8 and page 55. Lord, expose, disarm, disgrace, and dispose of them. And the Lord will hear you and bring you out of every calamities in Jesus' name. Let's take our communion. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody. The Lord just brought you deliverance Amen. from demonic attacks, witchcraft attacks, satanic oppression. You are free. You are free after today. You shall not go, not go through those attacks anymore. Take your communion. Father, as we partake of the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Bible says that by the blood of the Lamb, they overcame. They overcame the devil by the blood of the Lamb and the words of their testimony. Father, I pray that you give us victory over the powers of darkness and give us testimonies. I pray that as we partake of the communion, those who are sick, heal them. Those who are under bondage, release them. Those who are going through any challenges, Lord, let the blood fight for them and give them victory. Let their enemies be exposed. Let their enemies be disarmed. Let their enemies be destroyed, disgraced, and disposed of in the name of Jesus. Let the blood of Jesus preserve and protect us and keep us from all evil. In Jesus' name we pray. As we partake of the blood, Lord, restore any glory, any star, any blessing, any victories and prosperity that the devil has stolen from us and our families as we partake of the blood we ask that the blood will restore everything back to our lives in jesus name we pray amen, amen. thank you lord you can get a book consuming fire for fire on our website www.freshfireprayer.com www.freshfireprayer.com Click on store and you'll get it there. We carry it in ebook and Kindle and it will be sent to your email within 24 hours for you to start reading. This month, on the 29th and 30th of this month, March 2024, I am coming to Fort Lauderdale, Florida. I am coming to Fort Lauderdale, Florida for a deliverance conference. A massive deliverance conference we are believing God for. Setting the captives free will be dealing with spiritual marriage, will be dealing with breaking curses, evil covenant, and vows that are plaguing us from our father's house, mother's house. We'll also be dealing with witchcraft attacks and demonic activities and many other issues that people are going through spiritually. So come with great expectation. No registration is required or needed. Just come in walking, come with your friends, family, and loved ones. And come with your faith, expecting to be healed, expecting to be delivered, expecting to be saved, expect, expecting to be revived, expecting to be 
to be provoked into godliness come and experience the power and the glory and the goodness of god in this massive deliverance conference on march 29th and 30th which is friday and saturday the time is 7 p.m 7 p.m and it will be taking place at sheraton hotel at cypress creek sheraton hotel sheraton suit hotel sheraton suit hotel at cypress creek the address is 555 northwest 62nd street 555 northwest 62nd street fort lauderdale florida and the zip code is 33309 33309 if you need any more information you can always go to our website www.freshfireprayer.com www.freshfireprayer.com click on conferences and you get the all the information just walk in come in with your friends your family and loved ones and come and receive deliverance the blessing of god and the breakthrough in the name of jesus christ amen also make sure you subscribe to minister esther word youtube channel go to minister esther youtube channel um and subscribe and listen to a new song um say thank you and also the prayer song prayer is the answer which you had being played and pray along and be blessed by it in the name of jesus it's called minister esther word minister esther word minister esther word and then you you subscribe and click the bell for notification amen thank you jesus thank you holy spirit the website is www.freshfireprayer.com www.freshfireprayer.com join us every day at 11 p.m eastern time for prayer 4 a.m for those of you in london 5 a.m for europe amen <laughs>